Alright, for this little intro, I'm going to be doing something that is a little different, right? I'm going to ask you to ask me anything. That's right. Ask me literally anything. It doesn't have to be League of Legends. It doesn't have to be about Kha'Zix. It can be anything. So, ask me anything that's on your mind down in the comments below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer them in a future video. So, do that on this video for a chance to be featured in a video of mine. With one exception, I will not answer your questions about Kha'Zix runes, okay? <laughs> because I have already done that a thousand times in the comments already, okay? And also, I have a Kha'Zix rune guide. So please do not ask about Kha'Zix runes. I have a rune guide you can check out that explains everything, okay? Thank you very much. Let's get on with the video. All right, let's do it, boys. We are back with our one and only true champion, Kha'Zix, the legend himself. All right, it's time. It's actually been a while since I started... Well, it's been a while since I played Kha'Zix, actually. Uh, in ranked, anyway. It's been about a week. Or a few days. I, I kind of had to take a break from just climbing a little bit. Because I noticed I wasn't playing too well. And, you know, I just, I just needed a bit of a break. But now I'm back, and... More Kha'Zix, yeah. Yeah, man, Kha'Zix, he's been feeling pretty good lately. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a change with the buffs, but they are more noticeable the more I play with them. Uh, but, you know, that's about it. I mean, I don't think they're too game-changing anyway, as you'll see in this game. Like, I don't think the buffs really made an enormous difference, but, you know, I think it does. I, I think it did help quite a, quite a bit, I guess. Alright, so... I'm running Conqueror. As you can see, their team has Sejuani and Mordekaiser and Leona, plus an Ezreal, so I felt like Conqueror was very good into this team. Could have gone Phase Rush or something, but Conqueror was just really nice, especially against Sejuani and Mord. Uh, Conqueror is just really, really fucking nice in that regard. So, I was going to go Path up topside. Um, I was going to go red into Raptors, uh, into like wolves and my blue and all that but i realized i think the top lane is no yeah the top lane unleashed the red buff i think and so i was uh planning to just kind of cut off the sejuani from the very start of the game so that she couldn't impact any of the lanes and i win against sejuani pretty easily early on so what i was thinking is wait if she goes for a gank here my bot could die so i'm gonna come over here and just guard but it turns out this was actually a very nice, <clears throat> it was a very good gank opportunity. And, I mean, I don't know, man. It speaks for itself. Alistar Kaiser is an ex <laughs> extremely strong combo. And they just finish off the Ezreal. And I just jump on the Leona. And I actually pick up a first blood on her. Which is really nice. The Ezreal gets away, actually, for a little bit. And then he gets uh, pulverized. Rest in peace. And that was really nice, actually. Got a nice little opportunity there early game. I don't think they expected that at all. And uh, people don't really expect that in general. Um, you know, if you start red, they really don't expect you to go bot lane like that. As you can see, the Sejuani is here. Um, she's clearly going to go to the uh, the next crab, like top side crab. So I, I'm just like, fuck this. I smite the crab and I'm like, okay, ping, 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 ping. Get my team to go over there and try and stop the Sejuani from getting the crab. But she actually, uh, yeah, she ends up getting it at what cost, though. So, <clears throat> um, she falls pretty low, and she's running back into a jungle to retreat, obviously. Except she makes a little bit of a mistake, and I just intercept her while she's running back, and I flash on her for the kill. So that was a great transition by my volley bear, and, you know, just got me another kill. You gotta punish these, these things, man. She really wanted that crab, and... You know, just gotta kind of punish her for that. And that's pretty much it. Already two kills early game. So this was like a really, really nice, uh, like extremely nice early game for me. Uh, my volley's pinging here. I can't actually gank that. So I just walk back into my own jungle. Um, but yeah, damn, man. Like, I just went from bot lane to top lane and got two kills off the bat. So we're in a great spot now. And, you know, the next... You know, 
I mean, this game is going to be a fun one, because <laughs> of those kills. <clears throat> Plus we have the Kha'Zix buffs going for us. Alright, so, if you didn't notice what I did there, I just used my W to get the last hit on the Gromp, uh, on the blue, sorry, and just hit the Gromp as well. So it was just kind of an efficient thing to do, I don't know, it doesn't really matter too much, but, you know, it means I don't have to auto the blue buff uh, one less time. And yeah, so I, I type in the chat here, I don't know where Sedge is. This is just because I haven't gotten information yet. Um, I've kind of stopped tracking her. And because of that scuffle early game, it was just a little bit of uh, It was just a little bit hard for me to kind of keep track of where she was at all times on top of like doing all that stuff. So um, now I don't actually know where she is. Lissandra gets collapsed on here by the Leona Echo. And then the fucking Mordekaiser comes along, and he's like, hey, what's up? Like, what? This is so unfortunate. Um, yeah, right from the... <laughs> it's only like five minutes, and there's already been like a teleport bot lane. But it was a good teleport, for sure. Um, yeah, Leona actually goes over here by herself, and... Ooh, can't quite knock her back into me, otherwise that would have been another really nice kill. And so we can't really get anything out of that, just because of that teleport. Um, it was very threatening, and we didn't have much, so... Yeah, here I just realized, oh, I'm, I'm really close to Warrior, so... I have to go and take these crocs, because that'll just give me my, my Warrior straight up. Like, I'm not gonna gold when I... Uh, what am I saying? I'm not gonna recall when I have 200 gold uh, away from Warrior. Like, that's just pointless, so I just decide to... Finish up my Krogs and recall after that. And that puts me in a very good position. Um, just insta back with Warrior, like it's so good. Um, seven minute Warrior is really, really quick. Enemy team uh, takes the Cloud Drake, but it's, it's whatever, doesn't matter. Um, like, like I said, dragons are really just not that important. Um, you really want to make sure you just, you know, focus on your farm. Um, you can't like not pay attention to dragons at all because the soul is quite useful um, especially the infernal and ocean soul cloud jack is also good as a soul if you have certain champions on your team that can you know make use of it but for the most part you want to be contesting uh, ocean soul and infernal soul and so I finish my red, and I get, I evolve my Q. God, I'm stuttering a lot. Okay, so the reason I evolve Q is just because it has synergy with Conqueror, and it'll enable me to become a very potent threat later on into the game. Um, you'll see here I make I make very good use of the Q evolve in this game because uh, man, like I just pretty much take everything on the map, and the reduced cooldown reduction is extremely extremely helpful in this scenario and so um i see the sejuani blue coming up and i just decide to go and take it straight up because i'm a huge threat in isolation right now with with q evolve and warrior i ping my i ping the top side of the map uh as missing because sejuani is not bot side so the only place she could be is uh top side but then uh, i end up spotting her in the you know in her bot side as she comes in and uh, sure enough, now we know where she is, and this was really questionable by the Sedge. I was like really confused here, yeah, as as you'll see, right? It's not happening right right now, but it'll happen. So I wanted to. Uh, this was bad for me actually. I wanted to just kind of see if the Sedgewani would be stupid enough to go for a gank, but um, that's not the case, and she actually goes for the crab here while I'm waiting in this bush and, you know, just trying to get a lane gank off, she's actually doing the crab right now, which is so questionable. Like, I don't actually know why she went for that, because she knew I was bot side, and she still decided to try and contest this. Like, I could have killed her there so easily, um, but I honestly did not expect her to go for the crab. I honestly just expected her to do something else, like go for a gank bot lane, and so... Um, it was smart of her not to go for a gank, but I was just so confused as to why she went for that crab, man. Uh, it was really strange. Maybe she saw me or something uh, really early on, but, you know, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's whatever. So nothing happens there and I just decide to finish up my camps. So if you can't find anything on the map to do and you know that the jungler is not going to be do anything, doing anything for a while, then you can just go for your camps like I'm doing here. Um, obviously, it's very important to maintain your farm as Kazakhs. It's, it's like it's like detrimental to your success on Kazakhs in general. Like you need to wait. Did I just say detrimental? Is that the right word? No, I don't think it's the right word. But whatever. It's essential to you know maintaining your lead as Kazakhs. So as you can see, I'm just like full clearing topside and. I think I go into the Herald here. Actually, no. I noticed the Herald is boarded here, and I don't actually feel like contesting that heavily for the Herald right now. I would rather just use my Warrior enchant and try and make something happen elsewhere. Uh, because a ward was actually placed on that Herald, and so if I start it, they might come and contest. So I really didn't want that happening at this stage of the game. Just, I don't know, I just had a feeling I didn't want it to happen. So. Um, I just decided to do a little invade here, um, make sure, wait, why did I go in, okay, whatever. Well, the Mordecai's is overextending, so I go here instead, and, um, you know, just go for a kill. This is a really free kill. There's nothing you can do here. Rest in peace. And I just pick up a free kill, and then I'm pretty sure I go for help now. This is the this is definitely a good time to go for Herald because we just killed the top laner and you know I can easily take it away despite it being warded. There is a ward right there as the volley bear you know just pinged, and as you can see there I didn't get an isolated queue on that crab, which was tragic. Something you guys might not know is that sometimes you won't get isolation if you queue a camp as soon as it spawns, um, which kind of sucks. Uh, the game can't keep up with registering isolation, so sometimes you won't get the bonus. Um, but yeah, here we decide to contest the dragon, actually. And um, my Lissandra goes pretty heavily on the Ezreal. He f he gets away, obviously, and then the Alistar messes up his combo, and we can't like uh, do anything there. But my team just bagging off here. I'm so confused. Like we're so much stronger than them at this at this stage, and Sajawani tries to contest this for some damn reason. Like, it's just our first dragon, it really doesn't matter. And so I uh, do this really interesting thing. I don't know if you saw what I did there, but... It was just a pure damage calculation, man. Like, so obviously I was chasing down the Sejuani, and I... What I did was I auto... I flash auto queued, and that gave me just enough damage for my W to finish uh, the Sejuani off. So, generally it's very good to finish with your W to like follow flashes and stuff so like, as you saw there like the Sejuani flashed but my W still hit her because she flashed in a straight line and so it's a very very good trick to keep in mind you you want to hold your W and wait until you have like sufficient damage on them to use your W and finish them off after they flash and stuff so it's very 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 useful and it net me a kill there in that scenario um, just a bit of a damage calculation there nothing Nothing too crazy. Um, just comes from playing the champion a lot. Uh, very, very good tip is to just hold your W. Um, I know I miss Ws a lot. <laughs> I know. Um, I really do miss my Ws a lot. But if you can hold it, uh, it's really it's really good if you do hold it. Because um, you can net yourself kills like that. Say if I just use my W randomly and I miss or something. Uh, you know. Maybe wouldn't have gotten that kill, but it's whatever. So now I just decide to keep farming, right? I want to make sure I keep farming in this scenario, maintaining my lead. I farm much faster than Sejuani. Uh, Sejuani is not the greatest jungler right now uh, in terms of like the general meta, uh, but she actually she actually goes for a gank here, and it doesn't work out very well at all. My bot lane is extremely strong, and their bot lane is extremely weak, and it just doesn't work. They don't have enough damage to execute anything effectively. And I just grab a free kill there. Because why not, you know? <laughs> I grab a free kill. Actually, I grab a free two kills. Um, just from counter ganking that. And so that's extremely good for me. And guess what I end up buying. <laughs> I'm sure you could have told by the title. 
wait no, maybe not the title, but the thumbnail or something. But I end up buying a Triforce straight up. <laughs> From six kills. Um, you know I'm gonna fucking buy that Triforce, man. Uh, I had to. I had to. It was just too good to be true. I mean, it was, it was just too good to pass out. Like, I, I had to. And I just hit him with the longest year boy in text chat ever. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so, I'm really happy every time I buy Triforce. Uh, man, this item just allows me to take over the game. And sure enough, it does just that. Uh, I'd be a little bit of a dick here and I go and stop the Echo's recall. <laughs> just to be a dick. Um, and then I push up this way because no one's here. Uh, I actually forgot that the Echo had teleport here, so naturally he goes and teleports. So that kind of sucks. Um, otherwise I would have gotten that towel with Triforce. It would have been a very good play. But, you know, then I just decided to go and uh, counter jungle because pretty sure I saw this at Joanny bot side. Yeah, I did. And so I just see if I can go for anything here. This Echo, man, get out of my jungle, okay? Every, every, every bit of jungle now is mine. And this Echo really can't do anything now. Kai's to ping my Trinity Force. She has not learnt the ways of the Triforce Kha'Zix, man. Man, I love this item. It's so good. Uh, when you're fed, anyway. I would not buy this if I was behind or like I didn't have six kills. It's just that I had the gold for it, so I'm gonna buy it straight up. And look how fast I can take this tower. It's so good. I okay, just straight up whack the tower down. Echo roams up, obviously. I know he's coming, but I had to jump out there and fake that I'm going in with my stealth here just to kind of confuse them a little bit and then my team follows up CC's the echo and then uh, he dies and he can't ulti and so here's a classic miss W moment oh my god it cost me so badly here oh no <laughs> oh that was really bad um, I that W was horrible because it cost me my reset and I couldn't get out of that situation so yeah I'm actually I don't know if that would have killed him I, I might be wrong, but I feel like that maybe would not have killed him. So I was just dead in that scenario regardless. Um, so I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. My Lissandra gets this tower here and they are engaging. Uh, uh, the enemy team is getting fairly greedy. They are going to go for this Infernal Dragon next. Um, there's a pretty heavy emphasis on the dragons this game. I don't know why, but it's whatever. I want to touch on my itemization here just a little bit because I... You saw that I was buying Mercury Treads, but then I sold them and went for a Serrated Dirk instead. It's because if you just have Triforce and Warrior, you have no lethality. And you pretty much have no damage. Like, you can throw the game really easily if you go Triforce after Warrior. So that's why I wanted to make sure I bought a Dirk just for that bit of extra damage. So that I could, you know, actually be useful. Because... Triforce is not a damage item, right? It doesn't give you insane amounts of damage. It gives you very nice utility, right? I've been saying this since like season five, man. Triforce is all about the damage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Triforce is all about the utility on Kha'Zix, not the damage. Um, and that's very, very, very important to keep in mind because uh, if I wanted to kill people, I would just go Dustblade. But in this game, like, Duskblade doesn't actually help me too much. Um, I'm not placing a huge e emphasis on my Duskblade this game. I'm more focused on the utility so that I can better deal with the tanks and the CC and all the other utility on the enemy team. So, um, that's why I went to Triforce. I just felt like it was a good buy. It would let me deal with the enemy team a little bit easier. And it would also let me push my lead uh, a lot better. Uh, just in terms of the macro side of the game, not in terms of the micro, like in terms of damage and stuff. So that's why I went for the Triforce. And now I just, uh, I think I helped my team out here, yeah. I roam down just in case. I get spotted by that ward in the Baron pit, which is unfortunate, but yeah. Now I just choose to recall, right? Yeah. I choose to recall because nothing's really happening. And I want to just straight up just go and get my boots. Uh, let me get that real quick. Nice. So yeah, like... Uh, I don't know. This game is shaping out to be really nice for me. I just don't... I don't know. There is a point in this game where it becomes a little difficult because just the nature of the team. It's quite hard for Kha'Zix to take advantage of that to enemy team. Uh, so, it's whatever. 
do we go for an engage here? Well, the Volley Bear teleports and he just runs straight up, so no. <laughs> As you can see, like, if the enemy groups up like this, it's very hard for me to do anything. Especially since I went the Triforce. Um, I don't have the assassination power to actually create a pick and enable my team to go in here. So, I need to play the map a lot more, uh, rather than individual fights. Especially with the Triforce Kha'Zix. Um, it's, it's just like... You need to understand how the Triforce affects your ability to go in, and in this scenario I definitely can't go in, despite the being like, I'm, I'm in good range to engage, but it's just like, I can't because of my itemization choice. That's the price I have to pay for this, this kind of build, but it's fine, like, it's better in the long run because um, the Triforce is just so flexible in, like, in fights where uh, they're not just completely grouped and you know that's kind of what the fights you want to be going for as Kha'Zix anyway so here I'm just going for a bit of vision um, <clears throat> just a bit of vision to control the Baron area nothing too much here and I want to make something happen here so I actually just spot the Sejuani straight up here and I start cleaving her with my Q uh, use my stealth to avoid stuff here and unfortunately I try and Q flash out uh, Q and then flash E out, but I get altered by the Mordekaiser and I start scrapping with him. Uh, he dies in the process, but the Echo is behind, unfortunately, and he finishes me off. But my team is actually playing this really well. And, uh, you know, they're playing nicely. They're peeling for the Kaiser. Very nice, very nice. I actually pick up a kill on the Leona here. Um, a bit of... Oh, it would have been good if the Kaiser stopped auto-attacking that pink ward, but it's whatever. <laughs> Um, Alistar flash engages on the Echo, but my team does not have the window of opportunity to collapse on that engage, so they just all die in the process. Man, very good attempt, man. That was actually a very good fight. Uh, just unfortunate. There was a bit of miscommunication there. If they were all in comms, like, I feel like we would have won that fight, but, you know, uh, it's, it's solo queue, so a bit of miscommunication there just kind of cost us that fight, and that's fine. Okay, see this greedy little Echo here, he's uh, pushing the wave up here, huge wave for me, but he actually ends up going for this tower, and uh, that is extremely greedy, and he just tries to run away with no mana, look at him, he's so cute, <laughs> and then I pick him off, grab my ninth kill, and um, a big wave on top of that, so that was very, 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 very good for me. Um, on top of that, the Infernal Drake is coming up so that we can easily, easily contest this with the Echo being dead, and so... Pretty sure we just go for the dragon now. Or do I make a grave mistake? No, we just go for the dragon. Uh, slight lag spike there. <laughs> it's whatever. Ezreal tries to steal the dragon. Not gonna happen, mate. Sorry. Did that a little too early. Steal the crab from the volleyball, as you do. Always take your crabs. And then, um, you know, bit of downtime here as we wait for. Uh, their team to reset and you know everyone else to just get in position and I just decide to recall pretty sure I can buy my dust blade now right yeah I can but the thing is do I want the dust blade no I don't and that's why I go for a last whisper here so look at their team take a look at their team I'm gonna press the tab screen yep this tab tab screen they all have armor and so if I don't build a last whisper soon I'm not going to be dealing much damage to them uh, whatsoever. The Duskblade is really the last of my concerns right now. I would rather get my Last Whisper so that I can actually penetrate through that armor and cleave the enemy team with my Qs uh, in, in isolation. That's my plan. Um, my, my, fo my focus is really not going to be full damage, you know, assassination. It's going to be just, okay, how do I most effectively deal with what the enemy team is doing and what the enemy team is doing is they're building armor so i'm gonna just straight up buy a less whisper instead of building straight into my dusk blade um really really need to do this because the ezreal has iceborne and you know the sejuani and mordekaiser they're all building armor the leona has a lot of armor too and the last whisper is just generally more effective in this scenario so um volley actually wants to engage here I'm kind of worried about this because it's a 4v5, but um, Bolly is a fucking beast. Like, <laughs> holy shit, that champion is a monstrous. And so I jump on the Ezreal here, create some pressure here, 
And uh, from there, Desra has to E out and they have no pressure after that, so um, we just collapse on the Leona and then finish off the Ezreal and then finish off the Mordekaiser. And there you go. Very, very nice. Very, very nice fight. Um, honestly, was a bit scared, but it turns out they, they really have no damage. Like, they have nothing. <laughs> and this is a horrible, horrible, horrible thing here. Notice how I have no smite? Yeah. Uh, I have no smite here. And the Sejuani is still alive, so maybe you can tell where this is going. But I pinged this so badly. This was so bad. Oh no. No! No, the Baron, no! <laughs> Oh my god, ah, uh, it's so bad. We lost the Baron for absolutely no reason there. Yeah, this was tragic by me. Huge mistake, huge mistake. Um, I made a massive mistake. I didn't ping my team, telling them I had no smite. And then we just did the Baron anyway while the Sichuani was there. Fuck, oh, that was so stupid of me. I didn't realize they didn't have smite. I just thought I had it. And I thought the Sichuani was dead or recalling or something. Fuck, man, that was so bad. Just lost the Baron for absolutely no reason. Um, the Volley Bear is absolutely like 100% right here. Just really, really, really bad by me. Um, and so I get a bit, I get a bit annoyed here, and I, I'm just like, "Fuck this, man! Let's go in, let's kill some people." Um, I almost die in the process, but it was actually a pretty good fight to take because uh, we are generally in the lead at this point. So we want to make sure that. We are playing aggressive, and I really just wanted to kind of fucking kill them all, because uh, just just to get rid of the Baron buff, right? Like that's all I wanted to do. I didn't know who had Baron buff in this scenario, but I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, kill everyone. Who cares if we lost Baron? We're not gonna let them have the Baron as well. <laughs> so I, I just took a very ag aggressive play play there, and naturally my team followed up, which was very good. And look at this subject. Look at this edge. Disgusting. How dare you walk up to me like that? I could jump on you at any moment and a bit of a like there. A bit of a like spike there. That's whatever. Um, yeah, honestly, there's not much to do here. Uh, I don't really want to go and go for that tower because obviously Leon is coming up and. Yeah, we really just have to go for the mid tower. I mean, that's all we can get in this scenario. Pretty good. Pretty good. The mid tower is pretty important. And so. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, I didn't touch on the fact that I got my LDR. Um, I don't even remember w when I got it, but I got it at some point. <laughs> uh, and here's another mistake by me, actually. The dragon's coming up. This is really bad. Um, Sejuani comes along here. I thought this area was pretty clear, but fuck, man. Tragic. Ah, oh, man. Goodbye the Sejuani uh, to follow my escape there. I almost got away in that scenario, but that was really bad. I thought that entire area was clear, um, which is why I started taking a fight with Sejuani there. But um, turns out the Ezreal and Leona were very close by. And because I counter jungled like pretty much the entire bot side, I was like, okay, you know, there's no one here. I'm safe. I'm safe. I can take this fight. But... Those two just showed up out of nowhere, and they killed me in the process, so that was very bad. Okay, so, I get pinged here, after I respawn, I get pinged by the Kai'Sa, and it's just like, bro, I'm sorry I'm making mistakes, like, fuck. I, I literally carried your ass early game, um, I don't know, man. I, I can't play perfect games all the time, like, I made one mistake, and, I don't know, I just, like, lose the dragon. Kinda sucks. But, you know, it's whatever. I, I I think I'm playing pretty well this game, to say the least. <laughs> like, I make mistakes, bro, because of me and, you know, my unfortunate circumstances. I lost the Baron and I lost one of the dragons. So, I, I guess that just goes to show the importance of the jungler in the game. Like, how fucking important the jungler is. If you die once, you legit lose all forms of objective control. It's really tragic, actually. And so, you know. <laughs> uh, psh, I don't know, man. It's, it's fine. So, back into the game. When I respawned, I got my Caulfield's Warhammer. So, I'm going to go for my Duskblade next. Um, I think I go and recall after this just to get it. 
Um, now, yeah, now is the right time where I can go for Duskblade, right? Because I have my LDR, and that just pretty much enables me to um, deal with all the armor, armor penetration necessary. Um, a different build path I could have gone this game is Duskblade into Cleaver. Definitely a good option. But because I went Triforce, I have to kind of go for the LDR early. Just to like kind of compensate for the lack of cleaver against this armor heavy team. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, I leave my red buff up just for the Kaiser and I just go and take this wave. Bit of a slow state now. We're, like, as you can see on the map, there's nothing really happening too much in terms of uh, like objectives. There's nothing on the map to actually take. So it's a little bit hard for us to actually do anything. Um, Volibear is picking a fight here with the Mordekaiser and he's actually winning this fight but the enemy team is collapsing very rapidly uh, so the Volibear is going to just get fucking destroyed here but um, as you can see the Alistair gets a massive knockout and pretty much saves the Volibear. Uh, he fucking heals up a lot and then we just all collapse. We just all collapse and I pick up two kills on the Leona and Sejuani and the uh, the rest of my team just finishes off the Ezreal, and then we go for the Baron, for real this time. <laughs> and I evolve my ulti. So, <clears throat> I mean, I didn't really do much in that fight, I just kind of cleaned up. Um, that's kind of my job now, it's just kind of to be a nuisance and clean up extra kills where we can. And from that we can like, create bigger number advantages and just, you know, kind of, kind of push our lead a bit more. That's kind of my job right now. Um, I have my little assassination moments, but you know, it's whatever. Um, my main focus now is just to be a fighter. Pretty much. Um, I'm more tra transitioning into like a fighter playstyle, I guess. Um, not much assassinating going on in this game, for the most part. I mean, I can't anyway. Like, who am I going to assassinate? I can't just like jump in against that team. Because if I do, I just get insta CC'd, and then I just die. So there's like no point me trying to go for pure assassinations. Uh, my job is really just to fucking scrap with people in fights. But yes, the Infernal Dragon's coming up, and uh, naturally this enemy team will want to contest it because it is their fourth dragon. If they get this dragon, they get Infernal Soul. Um, but they're really not in a good spot to actually contest this, so... Um, honestly, I feel like it would have been good for them to just leave it, but, you know, now we're just applying pressure with our Baron buff, we're, cry we're trying to, uh, you know, just, just kind of, uh, back them away from the dragon, and after that we just go straight on it. Do I get this? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Nice. They still want to contest it for some reason. Um, and then they just pick a bad engage. Mordekaiser dies very, very, very quickly. Uh, Leona gets picked off, fucking getting ISO cues off. I use my ult for the move speed here, jump over the wall, and uh, I just flash on the Ezreal as he E's out. Uh, I get very blood hungry here, and I'm like, hey, what's up? And try and chop the pickup, but you know, she's very tanky, and uh, now we're just stuck over the wall. <laughs> and we just walk out. Game is pretty much over. Um, yeah, I think that's it. For the most part, I think this is our last push. And now we just gotta, you know, look at this Triforce doing work. Goddamn, I love Triforce for destroying the base. The Sheen passive and the attack speed, man, it's just so nice for killing the base. And um, we play it safe, we go for the middle inhibitor here. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure we could just straight up end the game here. I get very jumpy here and I just, you know, go for stupid jumps because we've definitely won the game. Very aggressive jump. I get ignited, I get stunned, I almost get collapsed on pretty hard here, and uh, I fall pretty low, but it's whatever, the game's over. <laughs> That's it, boys. I hope you enjoyed, it's good to play Kha'Zix again. We in it, boys, the Kha'Zix buffs are really nice, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.